In this first lesson on statistics, presentation of data, we'll take you through three examples, each of where you've collected a certain amount of data, and now we'll find the best ways to present it. In our first example, we'll say that you conducted a survey of your fellow students and asked them what type of music was their favorite. You take the numbers that you got and you put them in a table. We have the music type and how many students found that type of music to be their favorite. Now we want to present our results to our class. A circle graph is an excellent way to compare data as parts of a whole. The first thing we do to make a circle graph is we need to take the total of the number of students that took part in the survey. So in this case, there were 221 students involved. Next, we want to calculate the percentage for each music type. To do this, we take the number of students, divide it by the total, then multiply by 100 to convert the decimal to a percentage. We come up with the following answers. To check our answers at this point, it's a good idea to total the percentage and the total should work out to exactly 100% or very close. Second thing we have to do is to figure out what a percentage represents on a circle. We want to convert the percentages to the number of degrees it would be on a circle. To do this, we simply take the decimal percent and multiply it by 360. We know a total circle has 360 degrees. To check our answers, we can take the total of the number of degrees and we should come up to very close to or exactly 360. Now we're ready to put our answers on the actual circle. We'll use a protractor to measure off the angles. We'll label the circle and this is where you can use patterns or colors for each different type of music. Now we're ready to put titles on and I like to put the percentages back in at this point. And there we have it. Now everybody can see what music is the favorite. In this second example, we'll say that you had to keep a record of your bike trip for your physical education class. You recorded how far you were from your starting point and how long it took you to reach that particular point. So we have the time in hours, and the distance you were at that particular point in time. A line graph is an excellent way to show how things change with respect to time. To make a line graph, first you need to draw a horizontal and vertical axes that will accommodate all the data information. Time is usually put on the horizontal axes. In this case, we must include all the values between and including 0 and 3. So this would be an example of how our horizontal axes would look. Next, we'll put distance on the vertical axes. It must include all the values between 0 and 88. Notice that here we decided the best way to do that is to count by tens. Now we're ready to put our data information on these axes represented by dots. Next, we draw lines between the data points. Finally, we put in our title. Here's what we did on our physical education bike trip. In our third example, we'll pretend you're a business person who needs to prepare a report for his boss. You need to compare two different car companies. Rhonda and Mia. You did some research and found the following data. Notice how the car sales are represented in terms of millions of cars. A bar graph is an excellent way to compare number of items over a specified period of time. To do a bar graph, we need to create a horizontal and vertical axis again that accommodates all of our data. The horizontal axes will be used to represent time, and the vertical axes will be used to represent the number of sales. Now we need to come up with a way to represent each car company. 
We will use a red bar to represent Rhonda. We'll put its information on our axes. The top of the bar will indicate how many cars Rhonda sold that particular year. 2009, in 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. We'll make a bar for Mia. In this case, it'll be the light blue bar. So in 2009, Mia sold 21 million cars. 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. So we can compare the two car companies side by side. We'll end up with our title and everybody can see the results. For presenting data, it is important to choose the best way that represents your data and make the case you want to make.